Well, let's just see what the internet has in store for me today. Hmm. Sam Harris. <laughs> I haven't heard from him in a while. I wonder what he has to say. <laughs> I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared, right? It's like, it's, there's nothing. It's going to be one of those days. I'm a broken record on this point, but it's one of the main driving motivations for me to do what I do. It's been clear to me for a while that the left and the Democrats are particularly dangerous because of their ability to rationalize and justify any action in pursuit of their agenda. That's why everything's a crisis. Everyone's a white supremacist. Democracy is over. We only have 10 years to save the earth and only they can do it. But before we get into this embolism inducing clip, a quick message from our sponsor. Wow, guys, check this out. Noble Gold, one of the sponsors of our show, has just been picked by Consumer Affairs, the rating agency, as the overall number one gold IRA company in the U.S. Talk to the team today if you're thinking of precious metals. And if you're quick, they're giving away an incredible one-tenth ounce American Eagle gold-proof coin with every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit Noble goldinvestments.com I mean Hunter Biden at that point Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement I would not have cared. Excuse me. What? Mean tweets or having a basement full of dead children. Sam Harris chooses the basement full of dead children. What the fuck? First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not it's like it's not Joe Biden, but but it does matter if Joe Biden knows about it or has helped him. And there's evidence of that on the laptop, which you are now rationalizing the suppression of to keep your party in power. Even if Joe, like even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like if, you, if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and, and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right? Or China. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't actually care if Joe Biden's involved. That's very interesting how he starts off excusing his position based on Biden not being involved and then immediately contradicts that. It is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump is involved in. Wait, wait. What corruption that we know Trump is involved in? What corruption is this? I mean, it must be massive. I have no idea what he's talking about. And notice how Sam inoculates himself from his own standards by declaring that whatever crimes that Joe Biden and his family might be involved in are nothing at all compared to the wild notions that he has in his head about whatever it is Trump's guilty of. Will he give any examples of the so-called corruption that we all apparently know he's guilty of? It doesn't even, it doesn't even stack up against against Trump University, right? Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in, in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Wrong. Trump University is worse than dead children in Hunter Biden's basement. That's the example that Sam Harris gave. No big deal at all <laughs> when stacked up against Trump University. One would think based on Sam Harris's claim that dead corpses in Hunter Biden's basement is no big deal. Even if Joe Biden were somehow involved, you would think he would have something better than that. He also said that Trump University was quote, worse than anything that could be on Hunter Biden's laptop. How could you possibly say that? Especially when you are in the process right now of supporting draconian measures to suppress that story so that nobody ever knows what's on the laptop. Now that's not, that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the, you know, the New York Post's Twitter account. Like that, that's a, just a conspiracy, that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was, absolutely, right? But I think it was warranted. Right. No. They just started to say it publicly in front of cameras. To deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was. Absolutely. Sam, I'm sorry. That particular piece. I'm, I'm really yeah. sorry. I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, on, yeah. but you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle Go with there, which is you, no, no, <laughs> fuck yeah. the kids in the yeah. basement. I'm interested yeah. in democracy. You're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content. Well, so it's, but the thing is, it's just not left wing, right? So Liz Cheney is not left wing. 
Liz Cheney You're is doing everything with a in her power to prevent somebody no, being democratic. It's elected. not like a no, but there's nothing conspiracy. It's not. It, it was a conspiracy out in the open. It does, but it doesn't matter if it was. A, it doesn't matter what parts conspiracy, what parts out in the open. If there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward Earth, and and we got in a room together with all of our friends and had a conversation about what we could do to deflect its course, right? Is that a conspiracy? Yes. You notice how he had to use a cataclysm that would end all life on Earth to justify his position. What Sam Harris doesn't seem to realize, which again is surprising, is that the other side could use the exact same rationalizations to justify taking the exact same actions against his side. And they would actually have a lot more justifications due to the fact that it's Sam Harris's side that are taking these authoritarian actions. And is it really all that surprising that the actual authoritarians turned out to be the ones who convinced them themselves through their own endless fear-mongering of their political opponents that they were justified in taking their authoritarian actions. That's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.